What if you could land a high paying tech job without a college degree? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, today we're gonna be diving into a course that claims to do just that. And it's backed by one of the biggest names in tech and it might just change your career trajectory, maybe. I'm talking about the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. Now, is this your golden ticket to a remote tech career in 2024, or is it just another overhyped online course? Well, stick around because we're about to uncover the truth. And this is a certificate that I did review a few years ago, but it, is it still good now? Now, I know what you're thinking. Shane, you're a YouTube guy, what do you know about IT? Well, let me tell you a little secret. Before I was making six figures on YouTube, I was a pharmacist drowning in student loan debt, but I learned the power of online certifications and they can open doors that you never knew existed. And by taking classes, certifications, certificates, and online learning in general, I was able to work remote and escape nine to five hell. And because of that, I became incredibly passionate about alternative education and helping others to do the exact same thing. But there's a lot of false promises in the online education world. So let's go ahead and break down this Google certificate and see if it's worth it. All right, so let's start with the basics. This certificate is part of the Google's Grow with Google initiative, and it's designed to prepare you for entry-level IT support roles. No prior experience? No problem. Google claims this course can get you job ready in about six months. Now, I know six months might sound like a long time, but trust me, in the grand scheme of things, it's a blink of an eye. For instance, I spent almost six years in pharmacy school to get a good job as a pharmacist. And additionally, almost everyone who talks about this certificate online says that they finished it in two months or less, sometimes even just a matter of weeks. Now, when it comes to the course structure and content, the certificate program is divided into five courses, technical support, fundamentals, the bits and bytes of computer networking, operating systems and you becoming a power user, system administration and IT infrastructure services, and IT security defense against the digital dark arts. And each course builds upon the previous one. So you'll learn everything from basic IT terminology to complex networking concepts. And the best part, you can learn at your own pace. And as someone who struggled with traditional education, I can't stress enough how valuable this flexibility is. But the truth is, real world application is key. And that's why they also have hands-on labs and practical experience. And this is where this course really shines. It's not just theory, you get hands-on experience. And the course includes over 120 hours of interactive assessments, hands-on labs, and virtual machine experiences. And keep in mind, the reason why Google and other companies like this came out with these certs is because they simply did not have enough people who had these skill sets and they were tired of waiting for colleges and traditional education to educate the market. And so they decided to educate the market themselves. So these skills are top tier skills that companies actually want people to have. Unlike college, which 95% of the stuff you learn is not going to be useful in the job market. And this practical approach is crucial in IT. Next, let's talk about cost and financial aid. Now the course is about $49 per month through Coursera. And by the way, you can check it out down in the description and the pinned comment below. Sometimes it's cheaper in some areas. Sometimes it's cheaper at certain times of the year. And then they also do offer financial aid for certain people as well if you can't afford it. So definitely check that link out. And I know what you're thinking, Shane, $49 a month, that sounds too good to be true. And you're right to be skeptical. After all, college degrees cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, boot camps typically cost tens of thousands of dollars, and certifications usually cost thousands of dollars. But keep in mind, the reason they release this content, again, is because the market wasn't properly educating people. Google probably isn't making very much money off of these certs, but the value that they are getting is they're getting a bunch of people who actually know the in-demand skills that they want them to know. So it's basically like a job pipeline to work at Google or other companies like that. Now let's talk about job prospects and career paths. And this is the million dollar question. Will this certificate actually land you a job? Well, Google claims that about 75% of certificate graduates report a positive career impact within six months. That could mean a new job, promotion, or a raise. But here's my take. This certificate can definitely open doors, but it is not a magical job guarantee. However, it's a foot in the door of the IT world. From there, it's up to you to kick that door wide open. So I don't think this certificate, just purely on its own, is going to get you a job. You're going to have to do some supplemental study outside of it, and it's really going to be a good idea to build up your portfolio. However, this certificate is going to give you a puncher's chance of getting a job, and it's definitely going to help you land a job. And for the value that it offers, where you only have to pay about $49 a month, it's an absolute no-brainer. Value-wise, there's nothing else on the market that even comes close to it. Now let's talk about employer recognition. And this is one of the biggest selling points of this certificate because it is recognized by major companies simply because Google is one of the biggest companies out there. But it's not just Google. It's recognized by Walmart, Sprint, 
Hulu, Bank of America, etc. But does this mean you'll automatically get hired by these companies? No. But does it mean your resume is more likely to catch their eye? Likely. And there have been people that have reported back to me in my comments that companies actually found them because they put the certificate on their LinkedIn. So recruiters and hiring managers definitely do respect these certs. And this certificate could be your way of showing value to potential employers. Now let's talk about the online learning experience. Because let's be honest, online learning is not for everyone. It requires discipline and self-motivation. Motivation. But if you can master it, the benefits are enormous. Trust me, I built my entire business around online learning. And the course is designed to be engaging and interactive. You'll have quizzes, peer reviews, and forums to connect with other learners. So it's kind of like having a virtual study group at your fingertips. Now let's talk about the potential drawbacks, because we need to keep it real for a minute. This course is not perfect. No course is. Some learners have reported that the content can be dry at times, and others have found the peer graded assignments a little bit frustrating. But here's the thing. In my experience, these challenges are part of the learning process, and sometimes obstacles are just redirections to better opportunities. Now let's talk about some alternatives to consider, because the Google IT Support Certificate isn't the only game in town. There are other options such as CompTIA A+, or the Microsoft Certifications, and each has its pros and cons. Those certifications, for instance, are quite a bit more expensive than the Google Cert. And those certs are going to be quite a bit more difficult and take a lot longer to obtain as well. But there are some companies who respect those certs more. So each does have its pros and cons, but the key is to choose the one that aligns with your goals and learning style. It's kind of like when I was trying different YouTube niches, I had to experiment to find what worked best for me. So don't be afraid to explore your options. So let's talk about my final verdict. Should you take the Google IT Support Professional Certificate? Well, here's my take. If you're looking to break into IT, especially in a remote role, this certificate is definitely worth considering. It's affordable, flexible, and recognized by major employers. But just remember that it's not a magic bullet. It's a tool, a powerful one, but it's still just a tool. Your success will ultimately depend on how you use it. And like I said before, you will likely need to learn from other sources, and you'll also likely need to build up a portfolio to prove that you have the skills that you say you have. Now, if you wanna know what Google certificates I personally think are the best, I actually did an entire video where I rank the Google certificates from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst, and you can check that out by clicking right here.